So welcome back everybody to episode number 15 of the 1860 Munich Road to Glory Career Mode. I can't thank you guys enough for the support and the comments and the words and the, just everything that you guys have been leaving and just everything supporting this series and my channel. I just really do appreciate it. Welcome back and we're starting off with a big, big match here. We're taking on first place Hanover and their first place, nine victories, no losses for them. 23 goals for, four against. We're in fifth place in Bundesliga 2. I never thought that would actually happen. Now, a few episodes ago, I tried to negotiate a new contract for Zieres and it just never worked out, but I finally did. He's going to get paid now a thousand i think it's a thousand one hundred per week his valuation is going up his overall his attributes are going up and everybody else in the team is doing well as well but this guy is just on a whole other level of fantastic and i'd like for him to break the bundesliga 2 record but now we have to try and take on the first place hanover and maybe walk out of here with something special nine games played 17 points for us this one's away from home things were actually going good with the 4-3-1-2 last time two strikers up top but again and Zieres really linking up well but again with i think like three assists just last episode and that's what we're going to be going with i know lex can play in this you know what i'm actually going to start him that's what i'm gonna do beckett is gonna be on the bench if ever we need him he's got speed i'm gonna try to start lying a little bit more this episode but lorenz and oslot have just been playing so well let's kick this match off at the hdi arena this is a very nice stadium for a bundesliga 2 side and that actually brings up something that i'm gonna be maybe thinking about next season is upgrading the stadium adding some seats uh maybe we could stay at the grunwalder stadium or if maybe we get a lot of money we can move back the allianz arena or the, i think it's the allianz stadium i might be getting confused with juve stadium but they used to play in the same stadium as bayern munich but maybe we could just move away from that and get ourselves our own stadium there's steinhardt the captain hanover looking like they have a lot of scanned faces they might have been in bundesliga last season and they're already starting off well with the passing this is going to be a very tough match nice passing by hanover they're already starting off attacking well lorenz trying trying to get this ball clear but it doesn't and this is where we work wonders off the counter attack lex is now going find steinart just take a touch and slow this one down dressel that's a good interception by mauricio also i don't know if you're noticing i've got a new background here i've changed my setup around for like the 7,000th time in my life but hopefully this is the one that's going to stay Araguchi. Lorenz doesn't have the speed to catch up with him. Hustler is there. I think that was Van Wolfswinkel. Very tall in the air. Berger, continue that run. Don't stop. We can find him in behind. Berger can be in for a fantastic goal here. He's through on goal. Sebastian Berger scoring. What a ball by Wilsch. And Berger scoring another goal to his name. Just waited and he waited. And he played it in a bit too close to the goalkeeper. But he finds the back of the net. Second goal for him. I don't know how we've taken the lead. They've been dominating for 22 minutes. More of that, please. I, I have no idea how Dresso did it go into the books there. Berger, can we find him? Lex. This is great passing. Finds the ball to Dennis Dressel. That's off the post. But he stays on him. The cross is in. That is a overhead kick. Hiller with an easy, easy save. Is just going to give the ball right back to them. That's crossed in. Van Wolfswinkel. Just wide of goal. Would have been a great header for the striker. I don't know what Vine was doing. Got ourselves a free kick here. Probably going to lead to nothing. Or maybe we can find Lex. But so many more players on Zeres. I'm pretty sure they just know that he's the top goal scorer. Guys, don't get caught out like this. Van Wolfswinkel. Hustler is there. He's got options in the middle. Hustler is... No, come on, Wilsch. You've played so well all match. Don't give the ball away just here. Lorenz tries to go for a challenge. And that's going to be 1-1. One -one. We were holding our own against the first place side. All it took was one opportunity in this half. And that's going to be drawn level at 1-1. One -one. Nice interception by Vine. Go, guys. Not that much time left. Zieres, the touch. Berger now looking for a strike partner or just going to get oh my god that's a penalty defender just put the pressure i was looking to lay that one off and good thing i kept it penalty in the 87th minute what was the defender doing let's bring on becker just for some fresh legs maybe a little bit of a dive by berger but zieres has scored so many penalties before 
He can maybe do it again. It's in the same spot he always puts it. And we retake the lead. Jerez, another goal for this guy. It's 2-1. That is the ball that's going to be out of play. And a 2-1 victory for us. Away fans was going nuts here. And we beat the first place team. First loss of the season for them. Zieres and Berger scoring. What more do you want from them? Now, also, at the end of the last episode, what I didn't do was just show the team of the week. Okay, it's still here because I wrote it down. If it wasn't here, then I just wasn't going to give the upgrades. But Zieres, Brezzo, and Taffer Truffer are going to be getting some upgrades. I'm going to be waiting for the end of this week to see if we get maybe some more upgrades. So this week's star performers. Now, Wilsh is going to be getting an upgrade. Upgrade, but Ger is going to be getting an upgrade, and that's going to be two upgrades for Zieres. Just continues to perform. So we're going to start with Tuffer Chuffer from last time. He's going to be going up in positioning. Drezzo got one from last time, like I just showed you. He's going to be going up in penalties. And Zieres, let's see what two upgrades he's going to be getting. Maybe finishing its heading and free kick accuracy. Another free kick boost for him. He actually scored one last time. Now we got Wilsh and Berger. Let's go with Wilsh first. He's going to be getting interceptions. That's great for a defender. And Berger, please, maybe sprint speed, finishing something. It's ball control. Good stuff on his part. So who's our next match against? It's Regensburg. And then we have Duisburg in just a couple of days in the DFB Pokal. And I said, maybe we can go far in the cup. And where is Regensburg? They are currently in dead last. A victory, a draw, and eight losses. Maybe we can actually afford to simulate this match. We're going to be going with our best lineup. And then we're going to make some changes for the cup match. Maybe start Melders, Lang, Neiman, Glassen. Just let's simulate this. See what happens. Zieres already getting off to a fantastic start with a goal in the fourth minute. What else do you expect from this guy? Just no injuries here. And just a victory would be fantastic. Yellow cards everywhere on the other side. Heading into the second half. Lex is coming on. They score. How? We've been dominating them the entire match. Correa scoring. Klassen coming on. Zieres scoring yet another goal. That's two goals for him. That's 12 on the season. No injuries. That's going to be a 2-1 victory. Who else but Zieres scoring? Two goals for this guy. And we pick up three points. Is that yet another team of the week for Zieres? It is. It's just him this time. Please, player of the month, it has to be him. I don't know what more this guy has to do. He just continues to score. Belgaia is a player who I haven't played that much. He's young, and he's actually asking to play. I'll consider it. And Becky Roglu, I am also going to consider it. And let's see what stat Zieres is going to be upgraded in. Please, just finishing. And it's going to be slide tackling. Absolutely useless, but nonetheless, it's an upgrade. Duisburg is next. They also got promoted. This is round two. There's still so many clubs here and i'm pretty sure Duisburg is in bundesliga 2 with us and they're actually doing quite well 13th place after just getting promoted so maybe it's a risk changing a few of these players but lang is getting the start here with hustler Uyghur at the back becky Roglu is there neiman melders is getting the start here and on the bench we have grelinger weber zlatko zvetko rosenzweig who does have the five star skills and belkaya as well maybe we can bring this guy on lorenz gonna be sacrificed to the reserves and Let's just actually put Hiller on the bench just in case we do need him. Everybody just seems to have a nicer stadium than us. Whether they're in the third division, second division, we have like the smallest stadium. And I'm hoping to get it upgraded. Melders, uh, I forgot to give him the captain's armband. I completely forgot to do that, but I think it's Lex wearing it. There we are lining up. Duisburg, I'd like to progress it to the next round, but cup matches, sometimes they play very well. Decent touch. Finds Lex, is going to go for a shot outside the box. How many times are we going to hit it off the post? That's uh, last episode, the episode before. I think this episode we hit the post as well. Drezzo now, looking for an option. Get away from danger. Becky Roglu. Lex now. We've changed the formation back to the 4-3-2-1. Melder is looking to turn and get a shot. Looks for somebody to play this one into and just stays so, so strong here. Becky Roglu, it's been all Munich this match. Melders takes the touch. He gets the shot. Corner Steiner with a good challenge. Goes out. Stoppel camp. Already got himself a yellow. That's whipped in. Bondman, please. Thank you very much. Get back in your goal, though. Can't concede here. To Duisburg, who've done enough. Are you serious? Bondman, I play you here and you make a mistake like that. And it's Melders who he does find. 
We're taking this one forward. Good ball to Drezol. He's... Mm, I don't know why I did that three on two. We had Melders and we decided to go for Drezol instead. Can we find somebody there? It's Melders who gets the shot. He's got to continue. I don't know why you guys stop running. So we're forced to go centrally and Steinart doesn't have much to do with it here. Finds Rosenzweig. Can he get it onto that left foot and maybe go for a shot? This is Rosenzweig with a strike. Not offside, referee. Don't do that to me. That's into the middle for Melders. So much action here. Steinart whips in. Drezzo looking for the header. Guys, Bondman, what are you doing, man? That was Lang trying to get in a challenge. And I think it's going to be our cup run done. Don't make it three. Don't make it three. Duisberg, what do I say? What do I say all the time? Why can't we beat teams in the bottom half of the table? I thought this would have been a great cup run after we won the first one, but they just proved us wrong here. 3-0 loss, guys. And we're out of the cup. Something that I was actually hoping for this season comes to an end so quickly. Nothing we could do here. Can't win them all, guys. 10 shots, 5 on target for us. Just nothing wanted to find the back of the net. October 31st, we're playing on the manager's birthday. <laughs> for those of you who don't know, October 31st is my birthday. Bielfield is in fourth place 21 points we beat first place Hanover we have no excuses to lose games anymore let's just go with Klassen instead of Steinart because his fitness levels just aren't where they should be and this is going to be the lineup a few tired players here but I know they can still get the job done but get it yet is back up top we're at the Shoko Arena hopefully I said that right every time I'm trying to look for like a thumbnail from one of these shots they always showed like the same three players they either show Hiller they show Steiner when he's captain or they show Zieris. So that's why most of my thumbnails have Zieris on it. He's the star of the, the series, but I'd like to show some other players for the thumbnail. Welsh just catches him late. Referee, don't call that back for a free kick. He's not going to. They're starting off very well here, guys. And I don't want to have a repeat performance of last time. That is whipped in. Hiller is there. Dressel struggles to get his feet to that one. They're right back on the ball. Kwashner. Welsh is going to get a yellow card for the previous offense. Corner here, seven minutes. It's been all Bielfield. That's whipped in. Tougher Schoffer. Don't give away a penalty. They're right back on the ball. It's been all them. I don't know what to do here. Just defend, and hopefully we don't concede. Vine, Welsh heads that one away. Let's find Welsh on the other side. He does. Takes a touch. Sends it across. That's Zidus with the header. Wait for the run of Berger going down a free kick yellow card Becker actually does have some good free kick accuracy but Zieres scored last time and he just got an upgrade so that's who I'm going to be giving it to Zieres maybe he could do this again just try to curve it in the top left corner it was there I just needed to place it a little bit more inside. And Zieres could have got himself another great free kick goal. It's going to come next time. 41 free kick accuracy. Smart thinking by Becker. Now Dres so old. It's just completely lost his concentration. And just gave that one right back to them. 38th minute. Cross to the back post. Hiller is there. First half done, we really did not take our chances. Especially off that free kick. Maybe he should have given it to Becker. Owusu. Oh my god, it's Owusu. I didn't know he played for them. Don't make him score, because then he's going to say, See, you should have played me last season. That's Hussler. Not where I... Get this away. Not where I wanted to clear it. And I thought I was going to be 1-0 to Bielfield. Get this away. It's off the outside of the post. No. Like, see, when stuff like that happens, that's when... All match, all match, we, we suffered and we have to deal with this BS in the final minutes of the match. Off the post, we, I try to get the ball away. It's a clear pass that should not ever be intercepted. And that one goes right to him and all I could do is just watch in horror as they just sneak the victory. If we win this, if we manage to score here, it's Grelinger. He's in some space. That's again off the post. Hiller making a save, which looked like a clear goal for them. If we take those opportunities that we smashed off the post, it's 2-1 for us. That's whipped in. Somebody get a clear. It's going to be punched away by Hiller. And the referee blows the full-time whistle. 1-0 loss, and that sucks. Because we had it. 
in the first half we had it didn't take our chances the post saved them one no loss please tell me if there's no training injuries but we got a manager role at royal antwerp fc our mission was to take 1860 munich to the top and let's see if there's a player of the month shortlist and hopefully there's one of our players there isn't i also just realized that i didn't send out my staff to some countries but i think for right now we're gonna hold off on that just don't have that much money. Vlaovic looking like the next to be promoted, but that potential, it just scares me. I'm waiting for guys like Magnani, guys like maybe Michele Conti, who we have to change these names. And I'm looking at your suggestions for names in the comments. And I'm going to make a decision once we actually promote them. We did have four games in this episode, like I said last time, but one was simulated. We're currently sitting in third place. Bielfield has overtaken us, which sucks. But we're there. We're trying to get promoted. And for a team that I didn't even think could be in this position after this many games, we're just doing so well. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you have enjoyed, you can leave me a like down below. It's always appreciated. Thank you guys so much for watching. I think I said that already. Why do I say thank you so much? But thank you once again, and I'll see you next time.